Hello guys, um, happy Friday. I'm coming to you from Mount Vernon. I'm actually in the uh, quarters where we're staying. They have a basically like a house kind of set up. And uh, this is where we uh, stay during the uh, four day workshop. It's kind of nice, uh, um, give you kind of a nice place to stay. We got a kitchen area, all that kind of stuff. So um, got in today, we did a little bit um, this afternoon, this evening. And I wanted to give you guys just kind of a, a little bit of something that we did today. And so uh, I just wanted to uh, share a couple of pictures with you. Um, the picture you're looking at right now is actually the um, uh, Washington Presidential Library entrance. Um, it's a, a really amazing building. It's only about two years old, um, but this is where um, they house George Washington's personal uh, letters, um, a lot of different documents, and then also they have quite a few uh, areas for meetings, and that's part of where um, we'll be having our meetings throughout the, uh, the week here. So just wanted to give you that picture real quick. And then um, after we... Um, did some work in uh, one of the conference rooms listening to some presentations about Washington's uh, leadership abilities. Um, we took a real quick walk before supper. Um, of course, this is Mount Vernon and I uh, wanted to um, kind of just talk about one aspect of Mount Vernon that um, has always kind of fascinated me a little bit. So first of all, I want you to look at this picture and um, if you kind of look as closely as you can, I want to ask a, a simple question for you. What do you think that Mount Vernon is made out of? Like what materials, what building materials, um, by looking at this picture, do you think Mount Vernon is made from? So I'll give you a second to kind of look there and kind of kind of see over here kind of the, the different structure and stuff. All right, so kind of tell your uh, partner next to you what you think, what building material Mount Vernon is made out of. Give you a little Jeopardy music here. All right, so how many of you said that Mount Vernon is made out of some kind of stone? Raise your hand if you think it was made out of stone, okay? Raise your hand if you said it was made out of wood, and then raise your hand if you said it was made out of some other material. All right, now this is where it gets kind of interesting because I think that when you look at this, it looks like it's made out of stone. It looks like blocks of stone um, to me, okay? But in reality, it's actually wood. Um, and I took this close up of um, the side of one of the, uh, the buildings just outside of uh, the actual house. And um, you'll see that, that what Mount Vernon is really made out of is these little pieces of kind of like siding. Um, this is a piece of wood that is shaped to look like a stone. Um, and then what they do is they, they lay this on top of the wood. So like this is what's actually underneath Mount Vernon. And then they lay this on top and they kind of use some adhesive type stuff. But this is painted and then they take um, sand and they kind of put it on top of the paint while it's still wet. And then it gives it kind of a stony type look. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Mount Vernon here. So it looks like it's stone. Um, this is called rustication. And um, one of the ways that we know uh, that Washington's, how Washington specifically did this was of course by a letter. We know a lot about Washington from what he wrote in various letters. So he wrote a letter to one of his um, uh, employees at Mount Vernon talking to them or explaining to them about how they should do this process. And so because of that letter, we know exactly how they did it. And um, there's a couple reasons why you would do this. One, it looks a lot more impressive than just having a wood um, house, okay? Um, and then second, it kind of preserves it a little bit. So. One amazing thing about the uh, rustica or rustication process is they've done analysis of some of the original um, pieces on Mount Vernon, and um, there's, there's at least one that was done over 200 years ago, um, back in the 1750s. And so it does help preserve the house, but then it also just looks a little bit cooler. So like this is a picture of the side of that, and so you get kind of an idea of what it looks like underneath. Um, this is simply pine wood. Uh, very common wood, but uh, it makes the uh, the outside of the house look much, much more impressive. So so that's just kind of one aspect of Mount Vernon, kind of a, a cool thing that maybe you didn't know about Mount Vernon before. Um, but I'll be here, uh, obviously, tomorrow on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Um, we're going to have some um, great presentations, a lot of lectures, but we're also going to do some really cool uh, kind of field trip type stuff. And so on Monday when I get back, um, we'll spend some time um, talking about some of the stuff. I'll have some video, hopefully, and some pictures as well. So I'll leave you with this picture. This is one of the places in the 
um, Washington Presidential Library. Um, we're not going to spend a ton of time here. We're in a, a presentation hall, um, but this is kind of a cool picture of their reading room. And um, we'll kind of talk more about all these different um, busts and stuff um, when I get back on Monday. But um, just an incredible place to be at. Um, you guys know that I'm a pretty big history geek. So for me, this is like being on vacation and, and having the ultimate class all wrapped into one. So um, hope you guys have a great day with Mr. Coakley today. Um, go ahead and uh, try out Mission US and try and uh, advance through that simulation. Um, I do have a place down below this on my classroom website where if you guys have a question um, about George Washington, if you want to fill out that Google form, and then I'll be able to check it here. We have Wi-Fi during the day and stuff. So if you have a specific question about George Washington, um, I will go ahead and try and find the answer for you here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I have some of the world's renowned experts on George Washington at my disposal for the next couple of days. So um, I'm not going to make it something you have to do. But if you want to ask a question, go ahead and ask it, and we will try and get it answered for you. So have a great Friday, have a great weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday.